Okay, y'all. So I'm excited about this grocery haul. This is my first time ordering off Walmart.com. Yes. Thank God for Walmart.com. Why y'all ain't tell me Walmart deliver groceries? I never thought that I would see this day that I will order groceries off a website. But when I tell you it's been so convenient for the last couple months, I swear I've been trying to get to the grocery store and ain't got there yet. So when I seen something told me go in there and see if they delivery gro deliver groceries, and yes, they do. Now, the good thing about Walmart delivery, if you do it early in the morning, you'll get your, deliver your groceries the same day. If you wait too much later in the evening, then you can't get them delivered until the next day, which is okay. You know, if you got a day to, to spare. But for me, I waited too late, so I couldn't get them delivered until the next day. But... It all worked out. The other bad thing is if they don't have it in stock, they do let you know what they don't have was sold out after you order it. So they have it listed on the website, but by the time the person get there, they might have it in stock and might not. Poker in the background, he's starting to talk. So I guess he's going to be talking this whole video. So I just want to go through some things that I bought. Now, remind y'all, I am still on keto currently. I'm down about seven pounds in a week. Yep, about because I was 189 the last time I weighed myself, I was 182. I do my weigh ins every Saturday. Every Saturday. So that kind of tells me if I had a good week or bad week. So that's why I do my weigh ins on Saturday. Plus, that was the first day that I started keto. I started on a Saturday. Um, uh, Saturday this Saturday makes two weeks. All right, so this is what I got from um, thing. I didn't get anything too difficult, but I got a bunch of mix, mixed fruits. Now, me and Puka usually eat smoothies in the morning. This morning, we didn't eat smoothies because our uh, grocery haul wasn't here yet. So I got the mango, the strawberries, the peaches, and a mixed fruit. Now, when you're on keto, they said be careful of some of the um fruits that you eat so from for the most part the berries are great so raspberries strawberries blueberries those are what you're supposed to eat on keto but since i make my son i mean my grandson smoothies in the morning i usually use these for him and then i make me a batch with the berries so these are what he like. He like pineapple, strawberries, peaches, and mango. Peaches, and then he like mango. If I defrost the mangoes, he'll eat those by himself, which I might get those to him for um his lunch. So I got a bunch of frozen fruits for our strawberry. I mean, for our smoothies in the morning. Um, make sure you watch my video. It shows you what I put in my smoothies. I put the weight loss apple cider vinegar pills in my my smoothie. Um, and puka smoothie, I get him like a vitamin C pill. Um, and he loves his smoothie. Yesterday, he drank all of it. All right. Today is Taco Tuesday. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Where's your mom at? Excuse me. Where's your mom at? Mama, come and get your son, honey, because I got things to do over here. He get louder and louder, y'all. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Where's your mom at? Excuse me. Okay. Well, whenever Pooka get decided, he gonna stop. <laughs> now, get, get on. <laughs> All right. Before I was rudely interrupted, so... Today is Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. All right. So, today's Taco Tuesday. So, I ain't going to let being on keto put me down, honey. I'm still having Taco Tuesday just the keto way. Now, I did not ask them for no taco season ground turkey. I don't know where he's seen that at, but you know when a man shopping for you, you already know how it's going to go. So, a taco season ground turkey. We're going to try that. Um, Yeah. I'm going to have to add some more seasoning to this. I already know. I cannot trust nobody that says they stuff is already seasoning. I just don't trust that. But I got some taco season ground turkey. These were relatively cheap. Like $1.94 or something like that. So I got two of them. I got some iceberg lettuce. Which they say is the worst lettuce to eat when you're on keto. Because it don't have no calories. But lettuce is lettuce to me. 
I got some Mission Card Balance Haul Week. Now, I was upset about this. I, I originally ordered the um, spinach and herb um, tortillas, but unfortunately, they were out of stock. So, I had to get the whole wheat ones. I'm going to have to just make the best of them. So, I don't know. But let's see how many carbs are in these because I didn't even check. All right. So, carbs. Now, listen. You only can eat one of these or a half of these. Total carbs are 30 grams. So listen, when you're on a keto diet, you have to know how many carbs you can eat in one day. So one of these tortilla shells are 30 carbs. You see that? Total hot carbohydrate, 30 carbs. You only can eat a half of this shell. A half of the shell gets you 15 carbs. For me, my carbs only could be at 27. So, I got to eat half of this. I have to cut this one of these in half and eat it that way and put mostly meat on it and just a little bit of a, a half a tortilla. So, keep that in mind. These are 30 carbs a piece. I think. Let me make sure. Yep. Serving size, one tortilla. One tortilla is 30 grams. So, cut that in half. You'll get 15 grams and you can go ahead and eat your tacos. So, for me, I'm at, I only can eat 27 grams a day. So I, I can't eat it one tortilla shell because that'll be all my grams. But then it says five net carbs per tortilla. So I don't know. Five gram net carbs. So maybe that's how many carbs it is because 30 sound a little high. So maybe it's five net carbs. I'm going to have to look that up and make sure which is which. Is it five net or is it... I got to look at that one. I'm not sure about the uh, packaging on this but... If you if it's only five carbs, you can have one. You can have one or two. If it's only if it's thirty carbs, you only can have a, you gotta have a half one. All right. He picked out some great looking strawberries, so I also add those to my smoothies. I usually uh I was gonna say fry these, y'all. <laughs> I usually uh freeze these first, so I cut them up. I usually use my fresh strawberries first because these are going into the freezer, so. I usually cut these up and use the fresh strawberries first. Then when I run out of them, then I go to the frozen strawberries. So what I do again is I cut them up and I put them in the freezer, the fresh strawberries. I freeze them. Um, I'll let you know how I freeze them. I'll do another video on how I freeze strawberries. I found it off YouTube. If you can, you look at it, you'll find it on YouTube too. All right. I also bought some ground turkey breasts. I love ground turkey breasts. I feel so healthy eating ground turkey breast let me see i didn't look at the carbs on here but let's check it out total carbs zero 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 so you have to like i don't know season them lightly i don't know season them you should be okay if these are five carbs you season you some ground turkey i put a little bit of cheese on there some lettuce uh and maybe a couple of slices of tomato and then i'm done all right, so those that's what I'm eating for my uh, Taco Tuesday ground turkey breast tacos with my Mission Card Balance. We're eating that for dinner. I might come back on here and show you all me making that. All right, and the last thing that I always wanted to try, my cousin, she was on keto way before me, and um, I used to always see her drink these. So I figured one. I didn't think one day I was have to. I was gonna have to get get them, but on keto. You got to slow your sugar intake. And my doctor already told me my sugar intake is really high. So it is what it is. So zero sugar lemonade. Zero sugar Minute Maid. And zero sugar uh, pink lemonade. So I got all three of them. So I can try them. Um, I think this one is the best. I've tried that one before. It's fine. I'm really not a fan of fruit punch, but when it's zero sugar, I'll just take anything and that pink lemonade. So I got three of them to last me. Um, now, listen, since I've been on keto, and this is again, this has been, this is week two on keto. I only been drinking water, y'all. I don't, I drink flavored water. I drink like Nestle Pure Life water. I don't have a container around because I drink it all, the rest of them in the car. I'll show you what kind of water I drink later, but it's zero it, they don't add any sugar or anything to it. 
it's just flavored water. That's that's what works for me. Um, I I I do not like water, and it, if I drink water, it got to have a certain taste to it. Definitely can't be Dasani. Um, I might take Ice Mountain. Anything else, I can't drink. So what I'm saying that to say is, I'm proud of myself. Because I only been drinking water. Now I did have one uh can of Dr. Pepper, but it was a mini can. A mini can is like this. A Dr. Pepper that I had one one day last week. So to be honest, I've been doing good with my sugar intake as far as drinks. So with this zero sugar, um, let's see here. Now, from what I understand with this, one carb one carb uh, one carb. So you gotta keep that in mind. It's, one carb for eight fluid ounces so a glass of this has one carbs in it the sugars it says zero no added sugars vitamin c no protein sodium is 20 milligrams zero worth of fat and zero calories so for me this is probably the best choice uh, for me, if I want to just drink something sweet for the day, I'm tired of drinking water. I'd rather just go to this other than getting a pop or getting a milkshake, <laughs> some orange juice. So I'm just going to go to this, you know, it just is what it is. 5% juice. Now, I know it's not the healthiest solution, but it'll work for right now. All right. Last thing. That I got was this Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Now I can't live without this apple cider vinegar. I actually use this on my face. I make a mixture up. If you watch my previous videos, uh, I use an apple cider toner on my face, and ever since I've been using it, it's changed how my face is looking. I'm I have more brighter skin, clearer skin. Some dark marks have lightened. So apple cider vinegar is great as a toner. But since I'm on keto, y'all, I needed to eat up this fat. Okay, so like I was saying, um, so I need this apple cider vinegar to eat up all this fat now. So, I was told that in the morning I'm supposed to take a shot of this mixed with lemon juice. Let me show y'all. I'll take a shot of this real lemon juice. And so equal parts. So three teaspoons of this. And three teaspoons of this is what I'm supposed to mix together and take a shot in the morning. Now I don't know about every morning, so I'm going some days when I put the peels in my smoothie, the apple cider vinegar peels, then I won't take a shot of this. The days that I don't put the apple cider vinegar peels in, I'll take a shot of um I'll take a shot of this in the morning. The days that I don't put the peels in my smoothie. And that's supposed to help me with my digestive system. It's supposed to eat up all the fat in your stomach, honey. And it's supposed to make you go to the bathroom. So it's supposed to keep you regular. So that's a good thing. You need that when you are on keto and dieting. All right. So, y'all, this is my haul. My little keto haul. Now, I also went to the Dollar Tree. I think I'm going to make a separate video. I think I'm going to make a separate video for um the things I got off the Dollar Tree. Um, out the Dollar Tree for keto. I think I'm gonna make a separate video for that. So stay tuned to the Dollar Tree haul on what I got from the Dollar Tree on keto. All right, so I just want to show y'all what I got on my journey, my keto diet journey. Uh, so far, I'm loving it. I've been on a harder diet before, eating one time a day, which was super hard. So the fact that I can eat between nine and five. It's like a breeze for me, to be honest. You know, I was only eating one meal a day. So now that I know that I can eat, and then after five, I just can't eat anymore. I mean, no, I can't eat bread, which again, they have substitutes for bread. So you can eat butter on a keto diet. You know, you can't eat a lot of it, but you can eat butter on a keto, keto diet. You can put, you know, butter your bread up, make it taste good, season a little bit, something. You know, anything is better than what I used to eat. Y'all already seen <laughs> Y'all already seen how I used to order food at the restaurant. So we ain't even got to go back and visit that. I know why I'm fat. I know why I'm fat. Y'all, I, I can replay some sometimes. Oh, I'm going to replay some for y'all so y'all know why I'm fat. But I'm trying to change my lifestyle again. The doctor already told me my um, blood sugar level was too high. So, you know, it was just time for me to change my, my eating lifestyle. So it's better late than never, right? And like I said, it's not that hard 
um every now and then you can eat a, a burger you just can't eat a burger every day every now and then you can eat fries you just can't eat fries every day that's all but that's if you um once you get to your weight that you want to get to so for me i can't eat any of that stuff right now until i get to my most desired weight once i get to the, the once i get to my desired weight then it's all about just maintaining it that's all all right so i'm gonna come back on here and let y'all know how taco tuesday is going and coming coming through and i'll be back a little later